So I know it's late and the video quality might not be that great. <coughs> but fuck it. <laughs> <coughs> What's his work ethic like? I mean, he dropped, last year he dropped nine projects. Uh, Y'all collab album, one of those were included in those nine. But he dropped nine projects last year. Like, does he record every day? What's his formula? Crazy. All right. Every artist is going to feel me when I say this. You know, some people have their days and nights where they wake up 8 in the morning and be like, I'm recording for eight in the morning eight at night some artists had it times where they be like i'm recording from one in the morning to one in the afternoon <coughs> some artists had a times where they be like i'm about to record a song at nine o'clock in the morning i'm chill do another one at 12 chill another one at three chill another one at six you dig every artist had a way they work so right but i know every artist probably had the same comparison to when they do work Man, but I ain't necessarily work with every artist, but for me being the artist and the few <laughs> artists that I know and people like him and just the way. <coughs> Another reason I like Kwando. A nigga like me when it comes to telling a story. But I go all over the damn place before I get to the damn point. That's why I can't tell stories. Artists, but for me being the artist and the few <coughs> artists that I have to give you a I whole rundown how I, can, how I already understand it. For you, you know, to understand people it, like you get what I'm saying. Tell work with every artist, but for me being the artist and the few artists that I know and people like him and just the way I do my music, like, it might be four in the morning and I might be like. Yeah, Kaka went around the world just to come tell you this story. Him and just the way I do my music, like, it might be four in the morning and I might be like, boy, I'm feeling it. Come on, Kobe, let's go. Let's record, I'm feeling it. That's what type he is. But, you know, you. You got to be in your zone, in your vibe, whatever you need to do with you. Whatever you need, liquor, weed, whatever, lean, whatever you need, cigarettes, whatever you need to get your job done to get in your zone. It's a lot of people like that. That's the life period. A lot of people do a lot of stuff to get in their zone. Hey, mm -hmm. maybe you going to the gym, doing a couple weights, push-ups, and sweating and burning some energy out and your muscles feeling tighter and relaxed maybe that get you ready to wake up and get your day started and pull up on your workers not your workers but yo whoever your your company whatever company you got working for you to build your houses maybe that give you the energy and build you up the the make you get over there and Get the job done with them and help them tell them, all right, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that. Everybody got their own plan and format. Man, but one thing I can tell you about that dude. Man, but one thing I can tell you about that dude. Man, it ain't been five in the morning. I'm dead sleep. And... I ain't, I ain't got no problem with getting up recording or nothing. Or I can see if I'm already up in this five in the morning. I'm like, all right, come on, let's go. Man, that dude will come wake you up. Hey, hey, say, hey, say, man. Hey, Quando. Hey, Quando. You know, he, they call me Q5. That's just something they call me. I don't know why. Q5, Q5. Hey, Q5. Hey, Q Pop. That's what tops say. He always say Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. You know they are, I, I, for some reason, you know, they be around me. My niggas be around me, my family be around me, my girl be around me, my family get, be, family be around me. I ain't saying I ain't Tupac, and I ain't saying to the diehard Tupac fans, and to the diehard people who know, look, see, and, and they know everything about <laughs> Tupac and the <coughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying these. Shauna asked Kwando one, one question that he'd give you 10 answers. Diehard people I'm who know, these. look, see, and and they know everything about Tupac and the people who was here actually when he was here. I'm not saying I'm him. I'm not. He a goat. Yeah, I, I, it can never be another Tupac. <coughs> but if you've been around me, be around me when the camera's off and see how I act and react and stuff. Like a lot of people always like my people be like, boy, you just, what do you remind me of Tupac? 
had me on some shit like, like I might, like, you know how many times I've been with Top, Baby Joe, you know, the whole game, and something popped off, and I'm the first one, like, man, hey, man, fuck that, man. Yeah, this what was, this what going on. We brothers, we family, we came here together, we leaving together. You did what I'm saying, this NBA. You feel me? These folks came and got, man, never broke again, NBA. YB, Fee, Good Money Global, 1225K, twice, Montana, what y'all know I'm by, but Kate, what we know I'm by, Jeffrey Vaughn, Eli, you know, Mike Carey, Atlantic, all them, yeah, shout out all them, but never broke again. Fee Banks, Good Money Global, and never broke again. Ben 10, Top, and Montana, Man, them folks came and got me out the middle of the slums. If it wasn't for them, I'd be in prison right now. A let alone, maybe somewhere else. Man, bro. So, a lot of stuff that people say, he dick riding, he de-rolling. Man, if somebody made you a multi-million dollar person, man, you would be all for them too. They put food on my plate, and I was able to take my plate and turn it to a restaurant. Mm. It's food and plates for all my people now. Mm. Of Talk course, I'm gonna stand by them 100%. Stand behind them 100%. Talk to them. Of course, I'm gonna ride behind them positive. Oh, of course, I'm standing behind them 100%. There's no such thing as. D rolling or dick riding your family. Okay, okay. I'll, to the word, I mean, yeah, to the words right out of my mind. I'm mean, like, it's a little different when it's your people's now. Nah, it's like, this is your people's. This is a, this is something completely different. The buying them 100%. Like, they kind of like people's. There's now. no such thing. Like, you feeding my people, you feeding me, so I can feed my people. You know what I'm saying? No such You give me this opportunity. It's a little different, especially like with it, with it seemed like with their relationship. Yeah. Oh, of course I'm standing behind them 100%. There's no such thing as D rolling or dick riding your family. Mm. Blood couldn't make us no closer. It's way thicker than water. So if it come down to us being laying in blood together, if it come down to us, you jumping in some water and you drowning and I got to jump in there to save you, that's just what it is. Blood can't make us no closer and it's way thicker than water and I'm willing to get them both behind this. Recordings just. Quando Rondo, nigga. <laughs> I fuck with Quando on this one. Y'all already know I know if I just want nobody at peace. Uh, I still hit up blocks, though. I forget that I'm an artist. Pop, I let them shells ring. We just had a chopper party. Run up on them tag team. Matt came with Jeff Hardy. Rock and roll wet. This child got nuts to Drake on hit. Oh, shit. These ain't.